car and where better to look than the nation's largest auto show. Joining us from Chicago is Matt DeLorenzo. He is the senior manager of the Kelly Blue Book. Welcome. It's great to be here. So you are joining us from the floor of the Chicago Auto Show. What are some of the highlights that visitors should know about the show this year? Well, for all the talk of SUVs and crossovers, at the Chicago Auto Show, people should be looking for sedans. I'm standing in front of the Kia Cadenza, which just recently was redesigned and has an all new exterior and a freshened interior. And it offers sort of a luxury car feel for a family car at an affordable price. The other sedan worth looking at is the all new Hyundai Sonata, which was also redesigned completely for 2020. The Korean automaker has brought a hybrid version of the vehicle here, and it boasts 54 miles per gallon on the highway and 52 miles per gallon combined. So if you're looking to save uh, gas money and also have the room uh, to carry your family around, the Sonata is certainly worth a look. Uh, all wheel drive is another big trend here. You know, the Windy City has gotten a little snow lately and Subaru has always offered all wheel drive as a standard feature on their cars. And they're showcasing the redesigned 2020 Outback here. And that's a terrific little wagon that has great off road manners and can haul a lot of stuff. And again, has an affordable sticker price. And, and a, an unexpected place to look for all wheel drive is Acura, the luxury division of Honda. They have, uh, they're at the show touting the fact that they've sold over a million versions of it, their super handling all wheel drive. Now that system offers traction in, in bad weather in vehicles like the MDX and the RLX sedan, but also they use it in the NSX supercar. So it shows that all wheel drive uh, isn't just for bad weather. It can be a great enhancement for performance driving. What makes the Chicago Auto Show so special to the industry overall? It's big. You know, there's over a million square feet of display uh, uh, floor space underneath the, the roof here at uh, McCormick Place. It's so big, they actually have some tracks set up inside so that you can get a ride in and actually experience some of the vehicles you look at on the show floor. Also, that it attracts over a million uh, visitors a year. And that's a significant number when you consider that they're doing their homework for the spring uh, selling season uh, coming up soon. And for those of us who are in the market for a new car, is there a car trend that you're seeing a lot of this year? Well, you're seeing a lot of uh, crossover uh, uh, SUVs. Uh, the other big area of uh, interest are mid-sized pickup trucks. You know, as regular size pickup trucks continue to grow in size, I think people are opting for the smaller mid-size ones. And you're seeing some new entries like the Ford Ranger and the Jeep Gladiator, which is a pickup version of its Wrangler uh, off-road vehicle. And uh, the great thing about the Gladiator is, uh, is the fact that it can go anywhere, do anything. And they even showed a Mojave version here that can be sort of like an off-road racer. And where can viewers go for more information? You can come to kbb.com and check out our coverage of the show. We'll bring you all the new models that have been introduced here in Chicago. And you can go to the Chicago Auto Show website to find out hours and uh, special events they have here at McCormick Place. Matt, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.